Welcome to Vineyard Technologies. The project discussed in this section is Zigbee based wireless home automation system. By using this project, we can control all the appliances in our system by using this new technology called Zigbee. So let us discuss this project in a step by step procedure. So here this is the transmitter circuit and this is the receiver circuit. Here in the now let us examine the circuit here. Here we are getting 230 volts power supply and that is stepped down by this transformer to 18 volts and that is converted to DC by using this bridge rectifier and is filtered by the capacitor and the microcontroller board needs 5 volts. For that purpose we are using 5 volts voltage regulator and we have placed one LED to indicate whether the power is switched on or off. And this is the total microcontroller board. The microcontroller which we are using is AT89S52. Here in the picture you can observe this is the reset switch. The main purpose of this reset switch is whenever the program has been stuck in between and when we press that switch it will be starting from the starting. And this is the crystal oscillator. The main purpose of using crystal oscillator is to provide the oscillations to the microcontroller. That means it provides some specific speed to that microcontroller and here are the switch arrays to control the home appliances four switches and this is the zigbee module for this it will be having total of five pins two pins for power supply and three pins for data transmission and in this microcontroller unit we are using one ic called max 232 the main purpose of using this max 232 ic is as the microcontroller is a ttl compatible it cannot understand RS-232 voltage levels. So as this Zigbee module will be producing the voltage levels, so to convert that RS-232 voltage levels to TTL or CMOS voltage levels, we are using MAX-232 IC. And this is DB9 connector. In this we are having three pins, receive, transmit and ground. And we have used port 0 for switches. And that is about transmitter section. This is the receiver section. In this receiver, we are using the same concept. Microcontroller unit is being used to control all the appliances. And here, this is the Zigbee receiver. So the data which has been transmitted by the transmitter is received by this receiver. And that is given to this RS-232 compactable con here we are using max 232 IC to convert that voltages, voltage levels. And here in the picture you can observe this is the track board. We are using port 0 for this track board. The main purpose of using track board is to switch on the loads. So here we are using one device called optocoupler. The white IC which will be having 6 pins. The main purpose of using optocoupler is it will be conducting optically that means it will be protecting from high protecting the controlling circuit if there is any short circuit on the load side and here these are called tracks tracks are used to track or just like transistors but they are used for high current and high voltage applications here we are using in this project three loads and this is a fan ac fan we can control the speed of this fan and this circuit which you are observing in the picture is a touch dimmer. This is touch dimmer. So let us see how it works. So now I am switching on the power supply. So as soon as I switch on the power supply in the transmitter section, you can observe one LED glowing. That means the, it indicates the power is on. Here in the receiver side also the power is on. Here we are using Zigbee module and it has some specific frequency. It can transmit the signals up to 20 to 30 meters. So these are the four switch arrays. The first switch is for fan speed control. Second switch is for load light loads. The remaining three loads are for light loads. So now I am pressing the first switch once. 
so here you can observe the first load is on now again i am pressing the same switch once again so here you can see the load is off so parallelly i will be showing the operation so here i am pressing the switch 1 it is on and say switch 2 switch 3 now here i am pressing the switch 4 if i press the switch 4 the fan will be rotating with some speed so this is at speed level 1 now I, I want to increase the speed of this fan so again i have to press the fourth switch once again now the fan speed is being increased so to stop this fan again i have to press the same switch now the fan is speed is very slow and it is going to be zero at last now it is has been switched off now here in this picture i want to switch on the loads three two one so this is the operation of this project thank you